Facebook. American Republican Jesus is not Jesus Christ. It's a different Jesus. And uh, Republican Jesus is not the God of the Bible. Okay. And here's a congresswoman from Colorado. Her name's Lone Boebert. And she's preaching at some church, which is weird enough. Some politician preaching at a church. And uh, unfortunately, a lot of America's just straight up primed for fascism. Um, these people here who would consider themselves to be religious, but they don't even know squat about the Bible. They probably can't even tell you why Jesus died. And, you know, the reason I say this is because look at what, you know, hear what she's going to say. And, you know, the crowd pretty much agrees with her. Okay. But a reminder, Jesus Christ went willingly to the cross, okay, and he died for our sins. It was God's plan that he would die for our sins, okay. And God wants everybody to be saved, including those Jews that wanted him to be crucified, including Pontius Pilate and the Romans, you know, okay, including <laughs> Democrats and communists and uh Jesus himself said that, you know, he didn't come to the world to condemn the world, but that through him the world might be saved. He told that to Nicodemus in John chapter 3. Okay. They like to say, oh, Jesus didn't need an AR-15. How, how many AR-15s do you think Jesus would have had? Well, he didn't have enough to keep his government from killing him. So... And look, I don't know who this guy is, but you heard her. That she basically said that if Jesus had an AR-15, he'd still be alive. That's basically what she said. Okay. And that's Republican Jesus. Okay. The Republican version of Jesus is somebody that just looks out for himself. Um, is not the savior of the world. And he's just ready to kill people. Uh, you know, in, in, instead of offering them eternal life, instead of demonstrating grace, instead of, you know, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Right? That's John 3.16. Spoken by the biblical Jesus, the real Jesus. Okay, God manifests in the flesh. Um, Jesus Christ died for our sins and it, it's really good news that he died for our sins because if he didn't die if he just pulled out some AR-15 and blew those Romans away okay just escaped and did whatever we'd all go to hell because we wouldn't have had our sins paid for and Again, Lone Bulbert spouted that garbage at a supposed Christian church. And the people listening didn't seem to have a problem with what she said. Okay. Now, before I go, I'm going to show you this, this thing in, in Luke chapter 22 that I, I've heard a lot of weird stuff preached from these few passages here. You know, where Jesus talks about, he tells his disciples, right, that, uh, and he told specifically, you know, those people at the time, okay? It's pretty obvious from the context. But he said, uh, you know, that, uh, and he that hath no sword, let him sell his garment and buy one. Verse 37, for I say unto you that this is written that ye must be accomplished in me. And this was reckoned among the transgressions for the things concerning me have an end. And they said, Lord, behold, here are two swords. And he said unto them, it is enough. Um, okay, a few things. 
because I look at I'm sure you've had heard some weird stuff. People preach this and, and they'll act like it's your Christian duty to own a gun. And if you don't own a gun, you're not right with God. Okay. Well, the word gun's not in the Bible. The word firearm is not in the Bible. Um, swords are not guns. I mean, they're just not. And... You know, if you can read these passages and interpret sword to mean a gun, you're just a liar. You don't actually believe the Bible. You just, you know, you just worship guns, okay? Like, <laughs> I don't care if you own a gun. What I care about is when people lie about what the Bible says and try to put people under some bondage to thinking they're not right with God. They don't need God. Because look, uh, and even in the context, it's like the whole group has two swords. Okay, it's, it's not even like two per person. It's the whole group. But somehow... You know, the people who want to worship fake Republican Jesus, they think this means AK-47s and AR-15s, and that it's more than two, and that it's definitely not swords, and that just everybody should have them, and it's your Christian duty or something. What are you talking about? And, you know, some of them will even try to twist this and say that that basically if that, that if, if, if this happened, you know, um, if this, if he said this now, like if he had he was on earth with disciples now that he would have said gun and that therefore because he said sword 2,000 years ago that, that that's just like the, those were like the guns of the time like, come on I mean <laughs> that that was like the strongest weapon look it, it, it's stupid he said sword okay he wasn't even talking to you specifically when he said it And the whole group had two swords, and he said it's enough. I mean, that doesn't translate to AR-15s and bazookas and AK-47s. If you want to own those things, you know, that's between you and the government that you, you know, that you're under, or wherever country you live. But don't you dare say that it's biblical, because you're a liar. Okay. Yeah, and, uh, look, it, it, just like I'm not going to pretend that it says two nuclear bombs and that two nuclear bombs is enough. It's just stupid. Okay. It says sword. So put your weird fascism away, you know, frothing at the mouth, wanting Jesus Christ to, uh, you know, to blow people away of AR-15s instead of, you know, save their soul, pay for their sins, show them grace. You know, go to the cross and say, while he's on the cross, Father, can forgive them for they know not what they do. Okay. Instead of that one, you 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 rather ha rather have lone wolver to weird, creepy fascist Jesus that just that's into public shootings and not saving people. I mean, <sighs> I really thought I was gonna yell in this video. But, I mean, 
Lone Bulbert's sermon was just too stupid to even get, you know, like, it, it's definitely blasphemous what it was. But it was just also just so stupid. I'm here in Romans chapter 3. It says in Romans 3, 23, For all of sin that comes short of the glory of God. Verse 24, Being justified freely by Isaiah 50. Oh no, by his grace. Okay. <laughs> Through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus whom God hath set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood. And remember, his, his blood was shed on the cross, okay, to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are passed through the forbearance of God, okay. And, uh, look, Jesus Christ allowed his blood to be shed on the cross for our sins so that we could be reconciled back unto God and have peace with God. Okay, and then we could have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom we have access to faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And look, I don't believe Lowen Bulbert's a Christian. Okay, I have no reason to. I mean, if you if you don't. Even, if you don't even understand why Jesus died, you can't even be saved because you can't even believe the gospel if you don't understand why he that he died for your sins. I mean, so I don't believe she's saved. I don't believe she's a Christian. Um, but to people like her, I would say, um, you know. Would you want God to blow you away with an AR-15? Or would, he, would you want him to forgive you of your sins? Okay. Choose wisely. Uh, the Republican Jesus is another Jesus. He's not the God of the Bible. The God of the Bible is Jesus Christ. And he died for your sins, according to the scriptures, was buried, and rose again on the third day for your justification. Amen.